guys what's up welcome back to my channel if you guys don't know who I am I am Chelsea Chameleon and I am back with another video today I'm going to be doing a what's in my backpack and this is the college edition I am a senior now at the University of Tennessee and my backpack may be a little different from like everyone else's backpack I don't really know I just really use like a standard backpack I don't really use anything special I know some people try to get like a certain brand or a certain shape or pattern I just like functional backpacks I don't really care for the brand or anything like that so yes the backpack that I have is the Eastport brand and I think this was $24.99 at Walmart and it was kind of pricey because even though it's a very sturdy backpack, it's kind of like the straps aren't really that thick, in my opinion. I don't know. I just don't think it was worth $24.99, but it will do. I just needed something that will last longer than like three months. Also, my advice to freshmen or like people even in high school, um, if you are, you know, traveling a lot or going to classes or plan to use your backpack for more than just school, I definitely would say uh, to focus more on like functional backpacks rather than fashionable backpacks because they will last you longer and you can always decorate them and put little cute things on them like I did. It's just way better to get functional backpacks than fashionable ones because they tend to last longer and give you the best bang for your buck. However, if you are just using it for school or to make a fashion statement, use whatever backpack that you are comfortable with. Um, to me, a backpack is a really big sign of like a personality sometimes in school, especially like if you had uniforms or if you, you know, maybe can't dress a certain way if you're still in high school. I would use my backpack to like express myself, maybe put cool pins or anything on it. So yes, I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to show you guys what's in this heavy AF thing. But before I get started, I'm going to kind of do like a voiceover and some details about the backpack just so you can like know about the backpack and maybe see if you want to purchase this for yourself. Alright guys, so I'm a piece of crap and totally forgot to actually record that part, so we're just going to ignore it. I'm actually going to angle the camera down a little bit, so I won't have to keep lifting up this heavy thing. Alright, so we're going to start in the front and then work our way uh, to the back. So, in this pocket right here, this it comes with like this front zipper pocket. I don't have anything in here. Um, I don't really know what you could keep in these types of pockets because they're like to the side so if anything that's fragile if you open it like as soon as you open it it could definitely fall out so I don't really know what I can keep in there I don't know if I'm going to store anything in there leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys would store in there because I have no freaking idea <laughs> next right here as you can see is a button and it is my sorority's like football button if you guys don't know um, if you join a sorority or in a sorority uh, during like homecoming season or whatever, uh, your sorority may make buttons for like the football games for you to wear. But a lot of the girls tend to put it on their backpacks. So this one just says Sigma Alpha loves the balls and it just has our letters and like a little football. It's really, really cute. Um, so I just wanted to put it on my backpack. And right here, as you can see, is just a hand sanitizer like pocket thing that I just hooked onto these latches. And it actually has vampire blood hand sanitizer because I ran out of my like regular hand sanitizers so I had to put this one in there because you got to keep your hands sanitized because you literally are coming in contact with like multiple things that everyone has touched desk computers whatever so you gotta make sure that you're keeping your hands clean so now we're just gonna go into this first pocket first pocket is pretty big and right now I'm seeing my phone charger so I'm just gonna pull this out it's just my really super long phone charger I'm just gonna move the camera over there we go and I don't know if I showed you guys earlier but there's like this extra like bag thing and it's supposed to go like out under your backpack I guess for like hiking and stuff I didn't really know it's kind of annoying and I kind of want to cut it out but I'm afraid I'm going to damage like the underbelly of the backpack if I do. 
Also, I have the tags for the backpack. Um, because I'm honestly not sure if I want to keep this backpack. I think I still have the receipt for it. And in case I return it, I just wanted to keep up with the tags that came with it. Next is a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I think I wanted to substitute my Pity Petter lip tint that I have on right now for a different, like, more muted color, like, during the end of the day. But I just threw this in here. I have no idea why this is in here, to be honest. Alright, so that's it for, like, the main version of the pocket now we're just gonna go right here this is like this mesh pocket it's very small I wish they could have made it bigger um, that would have honestly been a lot more beneficial if they just made it maybe even a couple of inches bigger so the first thing we see are my backup earbuds if you guys don't know me I love music and I love listening to music when I walk to class um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys do if you are in college right now or even in high school I have to have earbuds. I'm always the person that like has earbuds that like blows out in the middle of like walking down the street or in the middle of like wanting to listen to my favorite song. They always want to blow out or give out. So I always make sure I have backup earbuds. Next is my Petty Petta uh, lip tint or whatever. Uh, this is from Style Korean but I have it on my lips today and it's a really nice lip tint. I don't I honestly know why I even brought it in my backpack because this is like precious. This is like nine bucks. So expensive for a lip tint. But uh, I love this stuff and I guess I want to use it to reapply but I ended up not retouching until I started filming this video. So yeah. Next is a backup USB slash HDMI cord. I just use this because I'm always transferring videos and pictures for YouTube as well as stuff for like my sorority and uh, the Korean Student Association that I'm in. So I'm always like doing stuff and transferring things. So I always need to have a backup cord to either charge something or transfer files. Next is kind of embarrassing but anti-itch cream. Lately, I have been breaking out into hives to keep this on me. Also, if a bug bites me, I can just have the antihistamine on me so I won't be scratching all day long. <laughs> Next is a body spray. Now, if you're a girl, even if you're not a girl, if you don't like when people fart in the restroom or take like the biggest like dookies in a public restroom in like a hall or a building on campus and you're like sitting next to them, all you gotta do is just spray and then the smell will go away or even if you took a shit in the bathroom and you don't want it smelling bad have spray so you can spray around the toilet or in the bathroom so it just won't be a nuisance to everyone else this is probably like the main thing that I would keep in my backpack even before school supplies next I have some scrunchies because I have like a wig and my wigs for the most part are like longer hair I always have to keep extra scrunchies in my backpack because this hair gets so hot sometimes or sometimes when I'm just walking to class I'll put it up because my backpack is just on my shoulders and stuff and then when I get to class I'll just you know let the beautiful curls down and you know look cute again <laughs> and last but not least don't judge me is a fidget spinner don't judge me I actually love these things I don't really use them in class but sometimes if I'm going to the library or if I actually decide to study that day I actually like putting these in my hand while I'm like reading or going over material it's just a really fun way to like kind of pass the time and almost calm you down like they're supposed to be used for like stress or ADHD so it's just a really a fun toy to have in your backpack and that is it for the like first pocket and now I'm going to go into the main pocket. So this is where all the magic happens. <laughs> the main pocket where the majority of my belongings and actual school supplies are. <laughs> so the first thing are my wallet and my keys. Uh, and then just in the front part I have my debit card and obviously I'm just covering up the numbers because I don't want people to see that. Then I just have my student ID in here. Here are my keys and I just have this really big red obnoxious puff ball so I can never lose my keys. Uh, like this really helps me keep up with them. So the next thing that I'm just seeing in this backpack is my pencil case. 
I have received so many compliments on this pencil case. I think I've had it since sophomore year. It's so old and so dirty. I have no idea how to clean it either. But it's just a five star med or me. I don't know how to pronounce it. But just a five star like green pencil case. And inside I just have like all of my pencils and pens and markers or whatever that I use. And the great thing about this, it actually like stands up on its own like obviously I can't balance it but it stands up on its own so if you're studying for a long time or if you have like a desk in class and like are doing work or assignments it stands up so you don't have to worry about like your pencil case like rolling on the ground and spilling all your pencils it stands up. Next is an umbrella if you go to college if you go to high school you can always get caught in the rain especially walking to class so you have to have an umbrella I also suggest a poncho because sometimes umbrellas just don't cut it, especially during the fall, so definitely bring umbrella. So the next thing is this big like pouch thing, and it's really old, it has like stains on it, don't judge me. But inside are like extra office and like school supplies, so I have a mini stapler, some glue, extra like pins sticky notes and then I also have index cards all right the next thing is my phone and I just do this in here because usually I just store my phone in my backpack uh, during class or whatever because I mean that's usually just what I do like I don't really know how to explain it but yeah I just keep my phone in here and my phone is about to die because I have not charged it all day <laughs> next are my actual earbuds that I use every day on a daily basis and then here is my happy planner I need to start using this again I just haven't had time to decorate it like I wanted to but I just have this really cute like floral cover on it and this is just my planner for like personal events and stuff also school things but mostly like personal like clubs and organizations that I'm in uh, not really a planner for my schoolwork and my assignments but more of just like a social planner if that makes any sense Next is my laptop slash tablet. Uh, this is my baby even though she really like sucks lately. She always crashes and dies. She kind of sucks but she still is my baby. And I just have lots of stickers decorated on her. Next I just have two random folders and they're kind of wet because I think my water bottle kind of spilled <laughs> in my backpack. But I just have these two folders. This one's from Studio C. And then this one is from a brand called Class Act. <laughs> Alright, so next is my planner that I crammed all of my syllabi in. Uh, this is just a, I don't even know what planner this is. This is a blue sky planner. And I love this planner so much. It is like the perfect thing for school. I realized that I don't like smaller planners and notebooks uh, to write down my assignments and tests. I want kind of like a notebook style so it reminds me of like class or whatever. It also just gives me a lot more room to write down like an assignment or like maybe a description or a code or anything that I may need to finish that assignment or do the test or whatever. So I just like that. And so this is just a old notebook. I just started like taking some notes from today for some of my classes in it. Uh, it's really gross because I used it over the summer. Nothing really special about this. This is just random papers. I don't know where that's from. <laughs> like I love how it's literally the first day of class and my backpack is just already like messy and I have no idea what's in it. This is a paper of my schedule so like where my classes are and what time they are in a random pin all right so the backpack is empty except for this pocket up here and so in this pocket is nothing much i just have a big fat pad <laughs> then i just have a big old thing of aspirin I actually don't use aspirin but I have read out of my ibuprofen so i just keep a bottle of aspirin for right now until i actually take the time and remember to buy ibuprofen so but yeah that is basically it thank you guys for watching let me know what's in your backpack or if you have this esport backpack or if there are any really good quality backpacks for $30 or less leave a comment down below and let me know but yeah thank you guys for watching uh, leave a thumbs up if you like this video or if you want to see more like back to school related videos my DIY K-pop video should be up so if you want to know how to make school supplies to go in your backpack the link below I have it up here so you guys can watch it uh, and also subscribe if you just want to see more videos from me in general 
and remember to stay colorful. Bye-bye.